Honestly, I don't think it smells goaty. Some people think like it smells goaty, but I don't I don't think so. Hey guys, it's Mercedes and today I wanted to show you how we milk our goats. Here we have um, our goat Edith. She's a really good milker for us. And um, we have her up here on this milking table that we were gifted, we were so blessed to get. And so I'm gonna show you a few things that um, we do when we milk. Here you can see her udder, it's pretty full. Um, a lot of people shave the udders, but we did not and um, we do just fine. But whether you shave your goats or not, it's important to clean their udders off because they're laying, you know, outside in dirt and uh, mud and who knows what else. And so clean them off real good before you milk. So when I milk, I only use like these three fingers. It's just kind of like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> So I will show you that in a second. Also, um, a lot of people use the stainless steel buckets to milk, and that's great. I have come to learn that I really like using like lemonade pitchers because then when I'm filtering the goat milk, it's a lot easier for me to pour into like the filtering stuff. So I'm using these three fingers again, like I said, and I'm wrapping around the teat, and I'm just going to go squish, squish. There, it's coming out, yay! So sometimes I do two udders or teats at a time, but a lot of the times I use just one <laughs> um, at a time. Uh, she sometimes likes to kick, and so I usually have one of my littles help hold on to her feet, and then it helps a lot with not kicking over this milk that we worked so hard for. We've got some good milk here in this pitcher, so we're gonna take it inside to filter it and measure it. All right, so I always grab a jar. This is a, it holds two cups, okay? So I have my milk and I use coffee filters. I can get like 500 of them for like a dollar, so it's very, very cheap. And I put the coffee filter in like so. And I'm going to pour the goat milk in. See how it's filtering through? Even though I washed the udders, I'm filtering it to make sure I don't have a hair or a little piece of dirt that slipped through because I don't want that in my goat milk. We are now at one cup of filtered goat milk. And now we have two cups. If I was going to um, drink this, I could just put it in the fridge with the lid and get it nice and chilled. But since I'm going to freeze it for goat milk soap, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Since I am going to put it in the freezer, I'm going to label it. I always label, obviously, goat milk. But then I write which goat it is from. I write how much. I usually do it in two cup increments. And then I write the date. There. I don't know why, but pouring goat milk into a baggie is like so satisfying for me. <laughs> and you're supposed to get most of the air out, but leave a little bit of air in it so that when it freezes, it has room to expand. We're just going to filter the little bit that's left in the pitcher to see how much we have left after we got those two cups. This is half a cup and my daughter got me these cute lids to put on top of jars. So I can just seal that up and put this half a cup in the fridge. We are definitely not like professional goat milkers, goat herders, anything like that. It's a learning process for us, but I'm thankful that you're here with us on this journey. So make sure you like and subscribe for more.